Thank you for joining me on my master class. Now today I'm going to be teaching you 10 tools for wealth building. 10 rules for wealth building. If you follow these rules, wealth is going to follow you. Now a lot of people underestimate the big differences that small changes in your life can make. So if you follow these rules, change your habits daily, and you follow these rules, I'm telling you, wealth is going to follow you. Now what's the very first rule? Is this. Identify what type of money you have. Not all money is the same. So you've got to identify what type of money that has come into your hand. Now, the next rule is this. Money can be divided into three kinds. You've got your expenditure, you've got your capital, and you've got your profit. Now, what's expenditure? The very first money that comes into your hand, you use that to meet your needs. Because if you don't meet your needs, your life is going to be a crisis. Because you need to be alive, you need to be able to meet your needs to be alive. And what are your needs? You've got three basic needs. Shelter, food, and then clothing. So those are your three basic needs. Then you also have some other needs that are really not basic, but they could be recurrent. So if you have a job, you have a need to get from point A to point B. And then also your healthcare. You're not always going to be sick, but sometime or the other, you're going to be sick. So you want to have some money prepared so when you're sick, you can look after yourself for healthcare. And then, so that's your needs. So any money that comes into your hand, the first thing you want to do is you want to meet your needs. After your needs have been met, then whatever is left, that's your capital. What is capital? Capital is money that you invest to create more money. Look at that. Capital is money that you invest to create more money. So when you invest and you create more money, when that money comes in, that is profit. So you can spend your expenditure on your needs. Whatever is left is your capital. You invest it to create more wealth. And then when profit comes in, you can spend your profit on your wants. So you never want to spend your expenditure on your wants. You only want to spend your expenditure on your needs. And what is left is your capital. And then only when profit comes in, like, can you use that profit to spend on your wants. Now, I hope that's clear. Now, the very next thing is this, is that if you spend your expenditure and your capital anyhow, life will treat you anyhow. I'm going to say that one more time. If you spend your expenditure and your capital anyhow, life will treat you anyhow. Then the next rule is this, you need to get a skill. You need to get a skill because your greatest investment is going to be on yourself. It's not going to be in the S&P 500, it's not going to be in mutual funds, it's not going to be in crypto or in stocks, it's going to be in yourself. So you need to learn the skill. The next rule is this. Now, when you're learning the skill, you need to understand comparative advantage. I'm going to tell you a story. I have a 15-year-old son. I sent him to coding school. My son knows how to code. Now he's coded and created a game. He wants to sell that game. And I looked at that game, you know, I just said, okay, I've got to learn how to code. If my son can do it, he's 15, I can do it. I'm almost 50. So I tried to learn how to code. Do you know, I studied and studied for about three months, and then I just, I mean, I could go nowhere. And now I realized that, you know what, maybe this skill is beyond me. So I focus on learning the skill, the skill of indexing cryptocurrency. So you see, I have a comparative advantage in the skill, the skill of learning cryptocurrency. My son has a comparative advantage in the skill of coding. So go where you have a comparative advantage of. Now, you've got to understand, your skills will kill your bill. Look at that. Your skills will kill your bill. That means that your skill will create the kind of atmosphere for you to have income that you can spend expenditure, capital, and your, your profit. Now, the next rule is this. Never save for tomorrow. Only invest for tomorrow. The reason being that if you save money in the bank, a bank will only give you an interest rate that is lower than the rate of inflation. So if the rate of inflation is 8%, the bank will give you an interest rate that is 3%. That means that your money is reducing by 5%. That's not very smart, is it? So you need to invest your money by yourself in an investment in a venture that's going to give you a rate of investment that is higher than the rate of inflation. That is the only way that your money is growing. Look at that. That is the only way that your money is growing. Now, the next one is this. As you're growing on in life, you know, you could tell people how poor you are, how desperate you are, you know, how you need money. But when you start getting wealthy, never tell people how wealthy you are. Because when you tell people how wealthy you are, that's when people, your friends, your family start meeting you and tell you, oh, I want a loan. Oh, I have this need. Oh, my son is in school. He doesn't have a school fees. And then you start having resentment because you cannot meet everybody's needs. And so you have to tell people no. And when you tell people no, there's going to be resentment. So you can reduce this by not telling people how wealthy you are. Do not live for validation. You know, so start telling people that, you know, I have this, I have this. No, keep that a secret. Keep that a secret. And then the most important one, and this is the most important one, you know, every time you get money, every time you get money, you have to remind yourself about one thing, that money is a tool. Money is a tool. So you must own that money. Don't let money own you. Money is a tool. You must own that money and don't let money own you. Now, if you follow these rules, I'm assuring you that 
you are going to create wealth and wealth will follow you my name is Ryan Mokri. if you've watched this and you have questions arising from this put your questions in the comment section of this email of this video and stuff are going to bring them to me and i'll do my best to respond to each and every category but you've got to remember i do not have a whatsapp or a telegram channel or gmail email address now this is pastor Ryan Mokri, the apostle of prosperity saying god bless but when no travels all around the world i hope you get inspired about what you see apostle of greatness reno is a master only one man against the old world in large fighting with the monsters poverty i can't stand that's where I know he's